that nobody moves into South Bank, they all move out. <laughs> In the early days, it was very, very friendly, neighbourly. You could leave your front door open, you could leave your rent money on the table, and nobody took anything, and you shared everything you had. Nobody had a lot, but everybody had the love, and they shared it with each other. South Bank, pre-ASDA, <laughs> was uh, full of shops. There was every type of shop you could wish for. There was dance halls, there was cafes. Three cinemas and lots of pubs. Anything that was necessary to life, you could buy. You didn't even have to get a bus to go to Middlesbrough because you could buy it in South Bank. South Bank was absolutely fantastic place. BBC News has learned that the steelmaker Chorus is to cut 10% of its British workforce, most of them employed in Port Talbot in South Wales, Scunthorpe in North Lincolnshire and on Teesside. Things started to change, I think, oh, 20, 30 years ago when the works were affected. That's the main thing when, you know, people lost their jobs. Once the dockyard closed, that's when the decline happened, I would say, because prior to that it was a bustling, harmonious atmosphere. The town takes its name of South Bank from the South Bank of the River. The River Tees, of course. The shipyards, well, Smithstock was world famous. Built uh, liners, cargo boats, everything under the sun. All built down there. And just across the road from here, we had three massive 180 foot blast furnaces, rolling mills, coke ovens. At one time, you could walk along that path and it was as though it was firework nights every night with the furnaces casting sparks of all colours going up in the air. Now there's nothing. The whole landscape has just changed beyond belief. I mean we hear of uh, MFI losing 1,400 jobs throughout Britain. Smith's Dock when they closed down lost 1,400 from one area, from one, one little town. I would think Margaret Thatcher has got to be the most revived figure to ever have uh, been heard of in South Bank, to be truthful. There'll probably be a mass celebration here when she dies, I would think. Of, <laughs> She's certainly not the most popular. South Bank's in a, a, a transition period. I mean, people say, oh, demolition of a town, but you've got to actually live in a place that's facing, like, half the town being demolished and cleared. Oh, yeah, they were lovely years ago. They were great. People used to own their own houses and stuff, and then private landlords came in and took over and they tended to put people from areas where they'd been kicked out and people had caused trouble into them streets, and it emptied a lot of the streets. People didn't want to stay near them, you see. It's absent private landlords that don't care. This is what's fetching the streets down. As long as they get their rent and they're living away from it, they don't care at all. 
And I think these are the scourge of the whole country. Absent private landlords. It's up there with Dracula, Frankenstein. The average person, I think, is a, a decent citizen. But because of the way, you know, they're represented, they, they, they've got them down as having seven Rottweilers and they're going to smash your face and this, that, and the other, which is a falsity, you know, because the average person in Southampton doesn't go on like this, as a rule. All right, we've got vandals, we've got thieves, and we've got other kinds of bad people. But hasn't every area got that? In South Bank here, you will never feel lonely. Yeah, I love it here, mate. Yeah, I've lived in different places. I mean, I've even lived in London. I hated London, because I think people just didn't care about each other. You know, because you're not used to that here. The South Bank community spirit itself is still alive and kicking, to some extent. South Bank, I don't think, will ever change. I think it'll always be South Bank, and I think it will always be known as... It was known as... Um, I'm trying to think of the name, and it's gone. Um, Slaggy Island. Southbank, smashing. I really enjoyed my life in Southbank. I did, every minute of it.